Now we're going to think about droplet size and what I've got here is three sets of balls that represent different sizes of droplets. So we've got ping pong balls here which are quite light and they tend to be quite drifty. We've got tennis balls which work really well at hitting the target and staying on the target. And then we've got a football which represents something that's really good to get things down to that lower part of the plant for soil based applications. So you can control your ratio of these through a nozzle by choosing which nozzle you use. If you go for an 08 soil nozzle, you'll get more of these and less of these, and even fewer of these. However, you go for your 04 nozzles, your red nozzles, you'll get quite a few of these, get a few of these, and hopefully you'll minimize these. So we're getting in exactly where we want. Now, once you've chosen your nozzle and your target area, you can still control the amount of droplet sizes you get by controlling the pressure. So if you stay in that optimum range, you'll maximize how many of the key droplet sizes you want. So keep it between two and three bar. However, start up in the pressure outside of the range and you'll get more and more of these, which will miss the target. So let's see what happens when we throw some of these smaller droplets. So now let's see what happens when we throw some of these droplets that are in the right size range. So let's give this bigger one a go. 